Hey you guys, it's your girl T. So I wanted to come on here and talk about this really disturbing case. And once again, it's coming from our first favorite state, Wretched Ass Florida. And it feels so good to be able to say Wretched Ass Florida. Because if you guys remember a few weeks ago, I had surgery and I couldn't say it. And I was like, Wretched Ass Florida. Anyhow, so this story is just really, really disturbing. Like it pissed me off to no avail, okay? So what's going down is that once again, it's taking place in Polk County. Um, with our favorite sheriff, he's speaking on the situation. We have three struggle rappers, okay? So these struggle rappers decide to put together a little struggle concert and to, you know, make things look flashy for their fans. Of course, what do rappers need? They need bling bling and they need a lot of cash. But these broke bums didn't have any cash. So instead of them getting a job or borrowing money from their friends or better yet, going on Amazon and buying fake prop cash, because as we all know, most rappers front and they don't really have it like that. So most rappers and rap videos, when they're tossing out money in the strip club and throwing money in the air, a lot of times that's prop money, it's fake money, okay? So instead of these geniuses taking to Amazon to go buy some fake money, they decide to go and rob this young boy. I guess he was a little weed dealer and he had some cash on him and one of the boys bought weed from him and he came out with a bright idea, ding! Let's go rob the weed man who's 21 years old and not only rob him, let's kill him for $300, not to feed ourselves, not to you know help better ourselves, but to throw into the crowd. It's like, what, what the hell is wrong with this state? Like, where do these demonic thoughts come from? How do you think it's okay to not only rob somebody, but to shoot them over $300 to make your rap concert more popping? You can't make this shit up. Go ahead and watch this news clip. I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Right now, these three young rappers from Polk County are behind bars. Deputies say they shot and killed a fellow rapper for his money. We brought you that press conference from Polk County Sheriff Grady Judd on our Facebook Live page this afternoon. And tonight, ABC Action News reporter Carson Chambers is live with the reason the men told deputies they needed that money. And Carson, it wasn't to spend it, was it? No, according to the sheriff, these guys only wanted one thing, and that was flash cash, money they could wave around and flaunt in a rap music video. They are an informal rap group with no name. I certainly can give them a name today. How about the jailhouse bunch? Three suspects accused of robbery and murder just to make a rap video. So they needed some flash cash was their terminology. And Dylan said, hey, I just bought some marijuana from a guy a couple of weeks ago who he'll be an easy lick. Their easy target, the sheriff says, 21-year-old Tyler Macklin lived in this house on Tangerine Parkway in Winter Haven. Deputies say 18-year-old Joseph Brandon Jr. and 18-year-old Jonathan Felix, nicknamed Killa, kicked in his door and shot for the cash in his wallet. That 21-year-old Dylan Kindred helped plan the robbery. $300. Neighbors are absolutely floored. And that is a tragedy because when we heard what was going on, all I could think of is he's somebody's somebody. A YouTube video viewed by the sheriff's office shows the trio performing at Ybor City's Club Sky one day after the murder. All three suspects have criminal records. Jonathan Felix is only 21 years of age. You ready for this? He's already been in state prison four years of his life. Tonight, Sheriff Grady Judd says the trio's rap career is over. They are now experiencing an environment where there's no rap music at all. And though Kindred has not been charged with murder, just conspiracy to commit robbery, deputies say that their investigation continues. Live in Winter Haven, I'm Carson Chambers. All right, so you guys just watch that news clip. These damn rappers need to sit in jail for the rest of their damn lives. And I find it real funny that one of the rappers' name is Killa and the other rapper's name is Wax. And that's exactly what they're going to do to y'all in prison. You're either going to get killed or you're going to get that ass wax, okay? I mean, the whole situation to me is just really, really disturbing. And regardless if this young boy was selling weed or not, a lot of folks done sold weed before. I could care less about him selling weed. You know what I mean? Him selling weed does not justify someone not only 
only plotting to rob him, but killing him for $300. And honestly, if he was really cool with them, he might have just gave him the $300 until they could pay him back. It just shows you how much people are so busy trying to front for other people, how much people are so desperate for validation and likes that they're willing to stoop to this level to take somebody's life over $300 just so they have money to flash at this bootleg ass concert. I'm gonna need Ratchet Ass Sorted to get it all the way together, honey. It is 2016 and y'all have not slowed down with the fuckery what so damn ever, okay? Anyways, you guys, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire disturbing story that's once again coming from our first favorite state, Ratchet Ass Florida. All right, deuces. Hey you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.